Hey everyone, Justin Russell with RussellMarineProducts.com here to give you a tip on how to select the correct transducer for your HDS Gen 2, Gen 3, or carbon unit. The important thing to know here is that when you're selecting your cor correct transducer, it's going to allow your unit to optimize and work as efficiently and correctly as possible. So to start with that, with our unit on the home screen, this is an extremely simple process. We're going to select settings. We're going to go down to sonar, going to select installation. We're going to have to scroll down here to the bottom where it says transducer type. Right now it says unknown, so we're going to push on that. This transducer that we have installed on this is a HST WSBL transducer. And the reason I know that is on all Lowrance transducers, there's a silver tag near the plug-in, near where it plugs into your unit, that will actually have the correct transducer type that it is. That it is. So we're going to come down here and select HST WSBL, highlight it. The important thing to remember here is you can't just exit out of this. You actually have to save that on your unit. Now we have that transducer selected. We're on our sonar screen. Clear that cursor out. Obviously, we're not in the water at this time. But now this unit, this being an HDS 12 Generation 3, does know that we've selected the HST WSBL transducer because that is what we installed on this boat. So little tip for you guys out there. Very necessary. Again, super easy to figure out, super easy to get pulled up. Check us out, RussellMarineProducts.com.